This is level L, list five, and we're doing the day one. And these words are all measurement words that you need for math. So you need to be able to spell these words correctly. So we've got ruler, scales, equal, meter, liter, kilogram, millimeter, centimeter, ton, and volume. Okay, so ruler is something that you measure with, so you can measure centimetres or millimetres with it. It tells us how long something is. So on ruler, we've got the ER on the end. Um, scales, we've got that E making that A make the long sound. So you can have scales that you can weigh things on. You can also have scales in music or scales on a fish as well. So, but they're all spelt the same way. Equal means um, when something equals or um, the answer to something. So um, we've got the QU in there. You've got AL on the end and you've got a long E sound at the start. Now meter is a tricky one for many because we've got the RE at the end, we know the reason we have an RE on the end is this is taken, this is an old Greek word, so same with liter. Um, and we know the Greeks were our early scholars in maths and science. So a lot of our maths and science and medical words um, are spelled a little bit differently because we've taken them from the Greek language and they don't mind having Y's in the middle of words. And so that's why we have the Y in the middle of some words. And these words here, rather than having the ER for the ER sound, we've got the R and then the E here. Now you can also have a meter that is spelt with the ER, but it means something different. So this meter is 100 centimetres equals one metre and you can measure a distance with a metre. This metre is a gadget that we all have in our homes to measure how much gas we use or how much water we've used or how much electricity we've used. So it tells us how much, it's a, a gadget that we use to tell us how much we've used of all those things. It measures it so then we can, um, they know how much to charge us for the electricity etc that we've used. So litre once again we've got that R at the end rather than the ER. Um, because America likes to be a little bit different to um, British English they, you might see that they use ER for both versions of metre and the ER in litre. In Australia we're meant to follow British English so we use the RE. Okay, a kilogram, a kilo means a thousand, so we have a, a thousand grams in a kilogram. And you usually weigh things on scales to find out how much they weigh, so you'll see them divided up into grams and kilograms, etc. So a millimetre is that very, very tiny part of a centimetre. So we have a thousand millimetres in a metre, and we have 100 centimetres in a metre. So it takes 10 of these tiny little millimetres to equal one centimetre. You can see that very carefully on a ruler. Um, a tonne is where we indicate the weight of a very heavy thing, like an elephant or a very heavy weight. And the volume is the height, the width, and the length, the, the volume, it could also be a noise indicator, but it's also the actual size of a three-dimensional um, object. Um, so let's read the word, sound the word, and spell the word. So you've got rule er, so let's cover that and write it three times. Rule er, rule er, rule er. R U L E R, R U L E R, R U L E R, cover it and write it three times. Be very careful when you're doing these longer ones. Remember that R E and um, that you're using K and Kilo. Um, just think about these words very carefully as you're doing them. This is 
level L, list five, and we're doing the day two page, and these words are all measurement or maths words. So we've got ruler, scales, equal, meter, liter, kilogram, millimeter, centimeter, ton, and volume. So if we go through each of these words quickly, we can see some things that might make it easier for you to remember. So rule, we've got the E making that you make it a um, different sound. Um, and if we add the ER on the end, we get rule er. Scales, we've got the E making the A make a long vowel sound, and we've just made it into a plural. Um, remember, use a C before an A for the cut sound. Equal, you know that every time you write a Q, you must have a U after it. And that E is making a long sound there, E equal. Metre, now because this is this uh, metre and litre are both, of, we've taken from the Greek language, they do the RE rather than the ER. So if you have a metre with an ER, it means a gadget that you use, have within your homes or wherever you may be that measures things like, might measure how much gas or water or electricity that you use. But the thing that measures that usage is spelled M-E-T-E-R. So this metre means 100 centimetres equals a metre. So a litre is how we measure um, something like a liquid form. A kilogram is where we um, use that to indicate the weight of something. So the gram at the end and you've got the K-I here. So we know a cut sound followed by an I, we would use a K for it. In milli, we've got the double L and then it's that it after it, millimetre. We've once again got that RE on the end of millimetre and centimetre. Um, centi meaning a hundred, milli meaning a thousand. A tonne is a very heavy weight. And volume, we've got the E making that U make um, the long sound. So we could read those words down and spell them and write them. So we've got rule er, rule er, R-U-L-E-R, R-U-L-E-R. So then write it. And you can sound and spell and write those ones on your own. Now in this next section we've got abbreviations and symbols. Just um, work within your group and work out what would be the words that go next to these words up here that best suit the abbreviation or the symbol that we've given you. I think they're quite obvious really. Fill in the gap with the missing list word. Once again, you're using those words to fill these in. The window was uh, something wide. Well, you, you would know it wouldn't be something like a volume wide or a ton wide. So think get very carefully about the, word, the words that you're using in there and generally, um, how wide would you think a window would be? It wouldn't be a um, millimetre wide, for instance. Um, you can read the rest of those sentences and do them as a group. What unit of measurement would you use? So this is um, a container of milk. It could be a container of orange juice. So how would that be measured and marked on the front on the label? Um, we've got some other things here that you can measure. So you just have to write down what the unit of measurement is that we would use to measure those particular things. And they're all words that we've given you up here. This is level L, list five, and we're doing the day three page. And here we've got some mathematical words. So we've got rule, uh, which comes from the base word rule. The E makes that you make a long sound and we've got the er uh on the end as well that you need to take note of. Scales, we've got the E making the A make a long sound and we know to use a C before an A for the cut sound. Equal, you know that you always have a U after a Q. This E is making its long sound because there's only one consonant after it. So you've got equal and don't forget it's AL at the end of that. Meter, because these words meter and litre are taken from Old Greek, we have the R before the E. If you had meter ER, that would um, that is a homophone. It's spelt differently, it sounds the same, but it has a different meaning. So meter with ER means a gadget that you would have at home 
that tells you how much gas or electricity or water you've used so that um, you know how much to pay the authorities. So litre, in um, British English we use the RE2 um, because we took it from the old Greek word litre. Now kilogram, you've got kilo in that. Um, you've got that metre from up here coming through again in millimetre and centimetre, so just be aware of that RE. Time you've got the double N in there and volume you've got this E making that U make a long sound. So there's quite a few tricks in these um, mathematical words. Okay, let's write the base word. So this, it, the first part of these is the prefix and then the second part is the base word. So I'll do the base words in blue. You might like to colour these as well to make it easier for yourself. Um, then you can work out what, so you have to actually write the base words down there, the, the blue part, the blue section down there. What do these prefixes mean? If you don't know what they, they mean, you could use a dictionary or you could Google them to find out the number that they're indicating. Proofread, circle the errors and write correctly. Circle any errors, write the correct spelling. The customer bought a litre of milk a metre of ribbon and a kilogram of cheese. So there's three words there that you need to find to spell incorrectly and write them correctly on the line at the end. Make the new words and use one of these words in a sentence on that bottom line. Well, you've got two lines in case you want to write a longer sentence. So you'd have equation, equate, equator, equality, equalize and equalization. So you can make those words and choose one to write about. Down here you've got to work out which is the correct spelling of the word. If you're not sure you could look at a dictionary, look the word up in a dictionary or Google it and see which is the British English spelling of the word. Now we need to go back and read the words and read and spell the words. So we're going to do rule a uh, rule uh. You might choose to break these words into syllables to make the spelling, the sounding out of the words easier. And then you spell the word R-U-L-E-R, R-U-L-E-R, cover it and write it. And then make sure you go back and check that you've spelled the word correctly. You can finish that page. This is level L, list 5, and we're doing the day 4 page, and we've got some mathematical roots for you to work on today. So find the common words that contain the following roots. We've got metre, centi, milli, and kilo. So you're going to have the same root in each of these, um, with, e with each of these pictures. So let's go, first one, gram, byte, metre, and joule, we'll probably have kilo there. You can, so you put kilo for each one of them. Work out what the common word is here that you're going to make. These ones will all have a common element as well. Link the following words to the correct definition. A metre, is it a metric unit of length or is it an instrument for measuring and recording the quantity of something, e.g. your, for example, gas, water, parking time. So if you have a look, the secret is, and we've talked about this on the day one, day two, and day three, the RE versus the ER at the end of those words. Now down the bottom you've got a mathematical crossword to do. So number two across, it's got four letters by the look of it. A 3D shape with six identical square faces. You've got one letter in each box, would be a cube. So you can cross that one off. Then let's do one down. A two-dimensional four-sided shape with two pairs of equal length parallel sides is probably going to be a rectangle. You can see if that fits. The words that you need are all down here to make sure that you spell them correctly. Um, so you can finish that off. Just cross off the ones that you can do and then go back and do the ones that you found difficult last.